We got a, a question um, from Peter. As a fellow English literature and fitness enthusiast, I've enjoyed your work for a long time. Well, thank you, Peter. I have a small question. I live on a farm, and that is my main way of building my muscles. Uh, farm strength is a real thing. Yeah. Keeping fit. I cut down trees with a saw and axe, chop wood, put up fences, etc. Loaded carries to keep fit. Anyway, part of my land is on a mountainous terrain, very hilly. I noticed the last day I had to carry loads up and down quite a long, steepish hill that I could feel my legs working reasonably hard on both the up and the down part. In short, what are uphill and downhill carries like as a leg builder? I'm keen to build my legs up, but I just find my legs are pooped after these and I don't have the energy to do any of the extra leg stuff. Well, you know, it'd be a, it would be a fabulous, fabulous training environment if that's what we did. Now, I have had a thing about hill sprints uh, for a long time. Uh, Percy Cerruti, of course, the great Australian uh, uh, track and field coach, was a big fan. Uh, the 49er, great 49er teams in the 80s, hill sprints were, were money. Now, let me just keep a couple variations of hill sprints. I do think that just carrying a heavy load up a mountainside might be one of the greatest glute workouts a human can do. Okay. Now, walking downhill, and you'll discover this right outside my window here is Mount Olympus uh, here in Utah. I think Mount Olympus is one of the hardest climbs I've ever done because Mount Olympus, no matter how you try to do it, it's basically straight up. And then after you get to the top, no surprises here, straight down. And the next day, your quads are so sore, not from the climb up the hill, but from that breaking down the hill. So, okay, now we're just we're just winging this. This is your perfect hill workout. Um, heavy loads up the hill, and then for the glutes, and then going down the hill for the quads, and then we had one more thing that we did at Discus Camp for years. Uh, we we work with a lot of uh, young female athletes. Who had knee issues, knee issues from uh, basketball and volleyball, because the tall girls are always kind of pushed into those sports and not into something they do well in, like track and field. Um, uh, walking backwards up hills builds that horseshoe muscle around the knee more than anything I've ever seen. Uh, if you, oh, by the way, I also have an answer if you don't have hills in just a moment. But uh, there is something magical about walking backwards up a hill with a load. Um, I think it's better than uh, leg extension or knee extensions. I think they're easier on the whole knee itself. And the burn you get is actually kind of funny. Now, if you don't have a hill, uh, which shocks me, um, I would suggest uh, getting a sled. And don't go, don't go crazy overloading the sled, but Marching with the sled is one of the best ways I know how to, uh, you know, just a normal sled walk to build the glutes and then come backwards. Yeah, I, we just turn the belt around at my gym and then walk backwards, you know, kind of a, a weird looking moonwalk.